Alrighty, hello everyone, Budgie here, and welcome back to some more Tiny Town VR. We are now on episode 2 of Tiny Town Suggestions, so thank you guys so much for all the support on the first episode of Tiny Town VR Suggestions. I'm here at the fort right now. Look how cool this place looks. I love it so much, it's so awesome, uh, but you guys can go and watch that if you haven't seen it already in a separate video. Alright, so... Check out our world. It looks so good. I love it. If you're new around here, everything you see has been built by myself. And in this series, what I do is I take your guys' suggestions from the comment section and add them into my world. For example, this plane crash was made in the last episode of Tiny Town Suggestions, or the first episode. And yeah, I thought that was a really cool idea. So I've got with me quite a few ideas today, and I'm very excited. Of course, these ideas, a lot of them are to do with the zombie apocalypse, because our world is based in the zombie apocalypse. Now, with that being said, if your idea does not get featured in this episode, do not worry, you will have another chance in a future episode. I literally got over a thousand comments in the first episode, so thank you so much to everyone who left their suggestion. So yeah, just keep in mind that if it's not in this episode, it could be in a future one. So yeah, don't worry. Anyway, let's get started. Make the military doing a supply drop out of a plane. All right, man, you got it. So I think we're going to have to use... Well, we can't really use this. It's not really a supply drop kind of plane, is it? So we're going to have to find something else. Unfortunately, there's not many military vehicles on this game other than these jets here, but... Eh, we can't really use them. I feel like this is a kind of a supply droppy plane. I don't know. It's not really military though, but it could work. I know, we're going to have a uh, supply drop going in the fort. Alright, so it's going to be about... I think this high up looks pretty good. Actually, let's have it so it's been over like that. And then we can have the supply drop like it's just been dropped by the plane. Alright, that looks pretty good. Um, I may or may not be using a trash can as the parachute. And also, yes... <laughs> The cargo is buildings just shrunk down. But then again, that is the brilliance of this game. You can turn anything into something else because you can just shrink it down to size and things like that. So this is going to be a pretty mega drop from the military helping out the guys at the fort. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's kind of difficult making like a parachute, I guess. I don't know what else I would use. You know, I saw the trash here and I thought maybe turn upside down. Kind of looks like a, a parachute or a balloon. If anything, it looks more like a hot air balloon, to be honest, but... Yeah, I actually quite like it. Oh, we've gone to military base. Oh, no. All right, so there we go. I don't know how that came out of that plane, but um, yeah, there you are. It is the mega drop. It's got so much content in there. It's got food and it's got weapons in there ready for the people at the fort. So yeah, I guess that looks okay. Um, sure, we'll just uh, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Anyway, thank you for the suggestion. I think it's time we move on to the next one. So let's do this. You should make a spaceship about to lift off and people trying to leave Earth, but zombies overrun the rocket. So I kind of already have something similar to this up here. Uh, there is a rocket and there's some space-like zombies attached to it. Because it says it's about to lift off, so maybe this one is about to lift off. So yeah, this ship here contains a bunch of people, some survivors, but unfortunately we have zombies on the way. They've overrun the spaceship. The rocket needs to take off now, otherwise it's going to be too late. we got more space zombies. Brr. Okay, so we're going to have zombies. They're going to be clinging onto the side like this. Oh no, look, we could have used this for the... Uh... Oh, I've shrunk it down. We could have used this for the supply drop. <laughs> uh, well, that would have been uh, very useful if I knew that existed. Doesn't matter, I like what we've done. We got creative with some trash and... It looks fine. All right, let's just let's just leave it at that. All right, so the thrusters are on. The spaceship is about to take off. The people on board, they think they're about to escape Earth and survive the zombie apocalypse. Little do they know they are bringing the zombies with them. All right, I feel like there would be a lot more smoke, but we'll leave it for now. I think I'm also going to add zombies climbing the launch tower as well. Trying to get to the top of the rocket where the survivors are so they can eat them. So if you guys who don't know, the zombies in this world, well, some of them are great climbers. They can climb cranes, they can climb buildings and all sorts. And we're going to have a zombie on the wing of the show. Yes. Hold on, zombies. You're in for a bumpy ride. We're going to have an astronaut clinging on to the back wing, the fin. I would imagine these zombies would get absolutely annihilated by the rocket. You know, they'd probably just burn or whatever, but, um, sure. All right, I think we've done for this scene. It's pretty cool. We got zombies clinging on everywhere, climbing the launch tower. We even have an astronaut about to go on a rocket there as well. We got this guy clinging on. So, yeah, I guess what it could be is the rocket has literally just turned on. 
and the smoke and the flames are just coming out now. So, yeah, pretty cool scene. Thank you for the suggestion. We're going to move on to the next one now. So, let's go. Make small zombies attacking people. All right, this one sounds pretty fun. Now, I don't know where I'm going to add small zombies. Maybe there could be small zombies in our world because at the lab here, maybe they're also doing testing on, like, shrinking people down and then those people who got shrunk then turn into zombies or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, let's add some really tiny zombies here, I think. Maybe they uh, they go in, like, packs and they, they just travel together. Now, while I'm doing this, if you guys do want to keep up with my Tiny Town series, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and also drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll be posting many more episodes very soon, so if you do subscribe, that way you won't miss out. So yeah, if you do have any ideas that you want me to add to this world, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And uh, yeah, it could potentially get added in a future episode, which is pretty exciting. Just adding in a bunch of people right now, which we're going to turn into like micro zombies. I guess they would all be looking up actually, since they're so tidy. So we will shrink them down like this. Little tidy zombies. Oh, look how cute that is. That is awesome. Now, about these zombies is I guess because they're so small, they're hard to spot. So they just like nibble at the survivor's legs. And that's how everyone just changes into zombies, I guess. Because of these little fellas going around. All right, there we go. Now we need to turn them very tiny. So here we go. It's going to be a little bit hard to get them all the same. I might even turn that on so we can get them on the ground quite easily. I mean, if we wanted to, we can make them really tiny. I mean, that might be just a bit too much. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Look, I could, I could barely see that one. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hello. <laughs> little Pat. Look at the size of him. He's so small. I can't even see him. Can you see him? So, of course, they will be attacking people. And I guess the survivors, they can have, like, baseball bats and frying pans to try <laughs> and squish the little zombies. Yes! <laughs> look at that! Let me see what a normal person next to these guys looks like. Oh, yes, that's perfect. That's just how I wanted them. All right, so now we need to add some survivors in who are taking out... Oh, we can have a boxer, like, punching them. <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. We have our survivors. This one, the chef, of course... He's got to have a frying pan. All right, there we go. We'll give this guy a baseball bat. I think that'll be uh, quite fitting. Oh, I've had an idea. What if this guy was being dragged <laughs> by the little zombies by the legs? Oh, that would be hilarious. I think we might actually need some more tiny zombies. Why am I having so much fun with this one? <laughs> this is great. Check that out. Poor little micro zombie. Got hit in the face by a boxer. All right, let's go ahead and find this guy's pan, shall we? And also the baseball bat while we're at it. Oh, man, I absolutely love making Tiny Tower VR videos. It's so much fun. And the fact that you guys can get involved in the series as well is just absolutely awesome. So, yeah, the support has been truly amazing on this series. And I can't thank you guys enough. Um, are we going to keep making these Tiny Tower videos? Keep doing the suggestion series? As it's just so much fun. So, yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. Baseball bat for that guy. And where is my frying pan? There it is. Yes, it's perfect. Now, I was thinking, what if we had, like, him holding it like that, but what if we had a micro zombie <laughs> on the back of it who was, like, squashed or something? I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so, what the chef has done, he's actually hit a zombie, and now, well, it's stuck to his frying pan, and he has no idea. All right, and then we're gonna have this guy at the back with his baseball bat, of course. Alrighty, there we go. Yep, that is an awesome scene. This poor guy is getting dragged. The micro zombies are actually pretty strong. Alright, that's what people don't realize. They think, oh, because they're small and everything, they're not going to be very strong. But little do they know, they are very powerful. Alright, so there we have it. That's our uh, tiny zombies versus the survivors. I think that's a very cool scene. I might even add some more stuff like this very soon. So yeah, this is just a small scene right here, but I like it. It looks good. Let's see what it looks like from really far away. Look at all the little tiny zombies. You can barely see them. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, I think it's time we go to our next suggestion. So thank you for that one. And let's go. Make zombies that are evolved. In brackets, really, really strong zombies. All right, you got it. I really like the idea of this one. So we're going to add some maybe like spikes to their shoulders and just things like that. It's going to look absolutely awesome. So I think I might spread these mega zombies or like mutated zombies around the map somewhere. Let's see. So our first evolved zombie, it's going to be this soldier here. Well, I say soldier, it's a riot police. So let's go ahead and try and add some really cool stuff. So I'm probably going to add maybe two or three evolved zombies. Each one evolved in a different way. Also, I added some more stuff in the workshop. Look how cool that looks. 
and also a musket and things so i'm gonna be adding that stuff very soon okay so i think i'm gonna add like cables going to the back of him maybe this could be from the lab as well maybe it could be a test from there so maybe these wires can have like an effect on him where it makes him stronger so maybe it's like pumping stuff into him and it makes his energy levels rise or something Look at that, it looks actually really cool. Oh, look how cool that looks. I'm giving him a little arm armor and stuff. Arm armor. That sounds strange. Okay, this is what could have all, like, the special stuff in it that makes him stronger. All right, there we go. Oh, this looks so cool. I mean, this guy, at the minute, he doesn't really seem evolved. He just seems like he's been upgraded by someone. So I think we should probably, like, mutate him a bit more somehow. It's kind of difficult to do, though. I know one thing we could add. We could probably give him red eyes, I guess. Oh, yes. Maybe we could give him, like, Wolverine style. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. It's like Predator. Maybe he can, like, retract them whenever he likes and things. Oh, this is the coolest zombie ever. <gasps> All right, so check it out. I finished the first evolved zombie. He has this like green gooey stuff coming out of his mouth and it's dripping onto his shirt there. Um, as you can see, of course, he has the blades on his hands, which he can retract whenever he likes. And he, of course, has some more armor. That way he can take a few more shots. But this is the mega zombie. He is extremely powerful and the guys in the space center are going to have a tough time defeating him, especially as he has these barrels here on his back which are giving him extra energy filling him with rage and making him extremely strong so yeah in fact if we move that we can actually see everything we've added which is actually kind of weird but look how much cooler it looks when it's added ready Boop. coolest thing ever right let's move on to the next evolved zombie let's see where are we going to place this guy though i think we should have this one at the lab maybe he can be running away and he's going to cause destruction elsewhere he's just escaped he's been an experiment at the lab oh we should have a prison zombie yes I mean, we already have a, a mega prison zombie here, which his head's got all weird. So there we go. So not only has he turned really big, but he's also extremely fast. That's one of the ways this zombie has evolved. All right, there we go. And now we need to make him look even stronger and make him look epic. Oh my goodness. This guy looks absolutely terrifying. I'm staring into his soul. Hello. Ah. All right, I think that just about does it for this zombie here. As you can see, he has some very terrifying eyes, so I guess his eyesight can be really good. And of course, he is super fast, which is why he is sprinting, and he is really strong as well. So yeah, that's a pretty cool looking zombie. I actually really like that. So we're going to move on to the final zombie, and then we'll move on to the next idea. I think I'm going to choose the swimmer here. We'll make him like that. There we go. Oh no, let me just do that. And then we can add, maybe he's picked up this car here above his head and he's gonna throw it into the crowd of people over there well i say crowd of people they're all zombies but there are survivors there as well so maybe he's helping out the zombies and he's gonna throw it because he is just super strong and smart all right there we go he is now throwing the van and we need to make him well a bit more zombie like and evolved i guess the zombies nipples they are evolving what are we gonna do what are his nipples like show out lasers or something I don't know, that'd be pretty pretty wacky. We could have like a double gun arm. That would be cool. Imagine if this guy had like machine gun arms. Like this. Oh my goodness, that would be insane. I don't know how he's just throwing that van if he has this though. Look at that. That would look really good on a mech actually. So if I make another mech, I'll probably add that as well. All right, well, that's the final zombie, evolved zombie I'm going to add. So we're going to move on to the next suggestion. Thank you for that one. And let's go make grandpa have a gun. All righty. So this is quite a small suggestion. It's only going to take a, a couple of seconds. But actually, I've just had an idea. What if we have grandpa right here trying to take out the evolved zombie with just a little pistol? I think that'd be pretty funny. All right, here we go. Okay, and he's going to have... No, actually, let's go for... Where's the, the Magnum? I'm pretty sure I have a Magnum. Yes, or the Revolver. That's perfect. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, Grandpa, you can do it. You can take out the giant zombie, um, even though your aim is slightly off. But that's just your poor eyesight. I'm sure you'll be fine. Ha! Bring it on, zombie! All right, well, there we go for that suggestion. <laughs> that was pretty straightforward. Thank you for that one. And let's move on to the next one. Let's go. Could you make a scene with a monster truck with some crazy survivors riding over zombies? That would be so cool. You know what? That would be cool. So 
Um, I think we should go a little bit off-road with this one. So let's see. We could go maybe the farm area or maybe this one over here could work pretty well. Yeah, I feel like this bit's empty here. So let's just do it if we can turn around here right at this location. Right. So first things first, let's go ahead and find the monster trucks. I know they're in here somewhere. Ah, there they are. Oh my goodness, these things look awesome. Okay, so we're probably going to only add uh, maybe two monster trucks. There we go. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. All right, so we're going to have some pretty crazy survivors. All right, let's add these zombies in. Maybe there could be like a trail, actually, of, of like zombies they've actually run over. But of course, zombies, you know, they're not exactly intelligent all the time. So I guess they're kind of just going towards the noise and then they just end up getting hit by the monster trucks. <laughs> so... Yeah. All right, so check it out. We've got a bunch of zombies now being hit by the monster trucks. I think we need to get some uh, pretty crazy survivors in the back here. Maybe they can be cheering. You know, they're happy about what's going on. These guys are complete savages. Yes, check it out. We've done the scene now. It looks pretty cool. Look at the uh, survivors. They're pretty crazy. And, uh, well, they're just having fun in the zombie apocalypse. They just enjoy killing the zombies. And, uh, yeah, there's a pile of zombies here, as you can see, that they've run over before. And there's some more being run over right now. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. Thank you for the suggestion. Let's move on to the next one. And a nuclear bomb going off. Okay, this one is going to be pretty epic. Now, the problem is, I have no idea where I'm going to put this, because if I make a nuclear bomb going off in the city, it's just going to destroy everything we've done, and that's not something we really want to do. So... What I'm thinking of doing is making an entirely new city just to destroy and have the nuke go off. Maybe what's happened is the zombies, they're too powerful and everyone has decided that a nuke is the best way to get rid of them. So, yeah, we're probably going to have to make a separate town or city and, uh, I guess, make the nuke go off. So I think the best place for this might actually be over here somewhere. Maybe we could have, like, another road part going off here. There we go. So we are literally destroying this place. So it's not going to be like too crazy, like in terms of size or whatever, but it is going to be pretty epic. That's for sure. Right. So we need to get a road. This one looks pretty good. Let's turn snapping back on. All right. Let's start adding some buildings in that we want to destroy. Um, we're going to have like nothing too crazy. We don't want like huge buildings because... Yeah, I feel like that's the main city there. And this nuke is just going to be going off in like a, a smaller part of the city or a town. So all these buildings will be destroyed. So I'm just going to place them down like, you know, not really thinking about it too much. All right, so I've made a pretty good start now to the city. It's right below where the airdrop is happening. That could technically be the nuke if we wanted it to. But what I'm actually going to add is, let's see, I think the nuke should already be self. So the bomb has already dropped. And, uh, of course, it's got to be the giant fireball. So this is going to be pretty mega, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, it is a nuke, so it's going to be an absolute gigantic explosion. There we go. I've wanted to add a nuke to this world for a long time now, so I'm so happy we're finally doing it. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty awesome scene. Hopefully, it's going to look good. Now, this is quite a small nuke compared to what you usually get. You know, we don't want to destroy all the work we've done in this tiny tower world. That's not something we want to do right now, but oh my goodness, look at that. All right, so I've been working pretty hard on the nuclear bomb, and I think I've got to a stage now where I'm quite happy with it. So let me show you. You ready for this? Oh yeah, check it out. Look at the chaos of this place. There is debris flying everywhere. This is a pretty incredible scene. Now, I should mention that everything I build in this world is not supposed to be like realistic, I guess. So I know this might not look exactly like a... A nuclear bomb but i think i've done a pretty good job of it i've also got this camera here set up and i also had to change course of the uh, the military airdrop here because otherwise the plane's gonna hit the nuke or something but yeah it looks okay i mean it's not too crazy i might go back and work in it a little bit more i think there should be like some more detail at the top of it and stuff but as for the actual destruction at the bottom i'm really happy with i think it looks absolutely awesome and yeah Really good stuff, so that was an awesome suggestion, thank you for that. There's only one more thing we need to do now, and that's get a picture. We need to get the perfect picture of the scene, so I'm probably going to get one from like low down here, maybe get quite close, or something like this, could look pretty nice. Alright, 
Screenshot taken. There we are. All right. Well, now that I finished the nuke, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this episode right here. So thank you once again for all the support on this series and for all the suggestions I got. Don't forget, if your idea was not featured in this episode, there's always a chance in the future that it might be added. So make sure you leave all your best suggestions down in the comment section down below. So yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you did. Leave me a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. I'll leave a link for both in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.